Hello everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky. This is Alon Paul once again. Uh, voice is a little bit deeper this morning and a little quieter. The rest of the family is still sleeping. It's kind of early here in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. And uh, we're going to do a run of the expedition. Now, my run-throughs are always a couple of days after they start because I like to go through it first so I get an idea of, or in this case, remember what I need to do in order to complete the expedition and make sure I don't mess it up too royally while I'm playing. Um, this is not going to be a speed run, so we're going to go through it step by step. Um, this is the most interesting of all the expeditions I think they've done so far. I'm not necessarily saying it is my favorite, but it was definitely really cool. So this one, as you can see, is called Leviathan. But it says, death is not the end, the loop continues. It's that last part that gives you the hint regarding what this is all about. So this is a time loop that you're stuck in. It is done in a almost permadeath mode. In permadeath, as you know, if you die, you usually lose your game completely. And you have to start over again. Well, you do have to start over again. You lose everything and you're a different character when you reappear. But the game does not delete. And that's the key to this. However, um, while one of the expedition milestones is to die and restart again, which you want to do as soon as possible. If it happens later on in the expedition, you'll have to start all over again with the whole expedition. So we're going to do our best not to do that. Now, if any of you have seen, and I'm going to go ahead and get this started right now, if any of you have seen anything in regards to my space jumps, you'll find that we know now that in not just normal mode, but in survival mode and actually in permadeath mode, if you fall from a great height, it will not kill you as long as you have at least two pluses, I'll call them, two heart uh, containers, uh, I don't know what else you want to call them, two lives, and a full shield. As long as you have a full shield with two of the pluses up there, you will not die. You'll lose your shield completely and you'll lose one of the pluses. And anything you do at that point is basically stay safe, stand still, try not to get hurt anymore while your shield recharges. And after that, you can go ahead and acquire um, something in order to recharge your your health. So that said, two health pluses, I guess we'll call them. So that said, we're about to start this. We're going to get started with the expedition. And like I said, one of the milestones is to take yourself out. You have to take your character out at the beginning. Just get it out of the way. So that way you don't have to worry about it later. There's no use in even getting any resources. And I'll pause every now and then take a sip of my coffee. It's literally two degrees outside here in Kentucky. And yes, I did the thing where you take the boiling water and toss it up in the air outside. Really cool. Yeah, you got to do some fun things while you're stuck in a house trying to figure out what you're going to do next. So I've been driving around in it too. What a mess. But we'll be getting out of it here soon. So this is the planet that we all start on. Now here's the fun part, a little uh, fun fact. When the Leviathan first came out um, several months ago, you started on, on a much different planet, and there were creatures on the planet that would attack you. So you could complete other milestones. Well, the problem here, and the problem we're going to have too, because I still haven't found an easy way to find creatures that want to naturally attack you. So, let's take a quick look. Nothing's going to attack me while I'm standing here. So, we'll look at the expedition. So, here we go. Remember, retrieve a past life. So, I have to absorb a memory fragment, right? But, keep going. Locate your starship. Glimpse the loop. We have to repair the starship. But then it says here, die. It is inevitable. If you don't do this right away, anything you do to get up to this point, you're going to have to do all over again. So, don't even bother. Then you have to break the loop, help Polo find patterns in the loop. Search for patterns in the loop. So you're going to be going to the anomaly right away. Uh, you're going to reach your first anchor point, And then, of course, construct a memory resonator. Now, each one of these uh, five iterations have an optional milestone. As these complete, and these are progressive, with everybody playing. As everybody gets more and more things handed in to Polo, this will increase... And that progress, as it increases, will make 
any upgrades you get in the future a higher stat why why don't we just get our own upgrades i'm going to show you why in just a little bit here's our second one it's very standard we're going to have to learn some uh, words in each of the languages we have to establish a base which we'll go ahead and get rid of uh, we'll befriend an aggressive creature i didn't do this until i was done with iteration five believe it or not last time um let's see third anchor point stealing whispering eggs but we only need three this time I if i remember correctly on the original one i think we needed to get like a dozen of them it was either 10 or something like that we had to collect some storm crystals it was the same thing I had to collect a lot more than what they did so they made it a little bit easier earning units not a problem trust me you'll get that real easily reach the fourth anchor smuggling contraband so we got to actually have to find a pirate system we have to shut down a planet's sentinel force. There's two ways to do that. You either have to find a uh, sentinel base and shut it down from there, or you have to eliminate all five stages of sentinels. We'll do the last one just because it's more fun, in which case you'll go ahead and definitely eliminate more than five sentinels. Plus, you'll get a lot of drops from them, which you can turn in for nanites. So that'll be pretty good. And guess what? You'll be able to get that very easily. And then finally, you've got three that you can read. Anchor point front the past, and then find patterns in the loop. The rest are glitched out, if you will, until we get at least two of these going. If I'm not mistaken, I think we even have to finish this one before the three appear. So, and then finally you can complete out the loop. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and kill ourselves. Yeah, I was in the middle of a storm and all that too. Okay. So, like I said, there's no use in even looking at these creatures or doing anything. I'm not in a very comfortable spot in order to kill myself. Usually I was on a, on, on the original run a few months back, we were on like major mountainous terrain. So, the only thing we can do is, I'll just do this. See how high I can go. And then I have to wait for it to recharge. Uh... Oh my gosh. Tell me there's a hill or something over here. Oh, great. Now the jetpack is done. Oh, I don't believe this. You know what? I got a better idea. Let's do something here. How about you? No, no one's going to attack me, huh? Unbelievable. So, you know, this is going to be a make it for a tougher run, because look, my shield is recharging. I can't even kill myself. So, we have to find some place to fall. It looks like we found a cliff. I have to repair this. I don't really have much of a choice. This is ridiculous. So you can see the difficulty already in starting this one. So this is going to be a pain in the neck. The toxic protection will kill me just about as quickly. Really? Looks like I found myself a cliff. Possibly. That's the worst I could do to myself. Oh, cool. There we go. Well, that's what I had to do. Damaging enough, huh? Alright, so death is not the end. We enter the loop traveler. Universal memory at 10%. The universal memory... At 10%, by the way, is those optional stages I was talking about in the milestones. So that means that people have contributed enough to get up to 10%. Uh, we're probably not going to get to the full 100% at this point. So so you notice it has my save still here. Two minutes of playtime. So the hard part with speedruns on this is being able to kill yourself at the beginning. Because with permadeath being adjusted the way Hello Games did, you can no longer kill yourself easily, even in permadeath mode. So, there you have it. 
All right, and you'll notice that the reintegration into the game here. No music at all. It's creepy. And we're back. And my character will even look a little different, too. That's the funny part. All right, so now we're going to do it all the way. Let's get some carbon, because we need, we're going to need tons of that. And we'll find ourselves another cave. It's going to give us the achievement here in just a minute. There it is. And I, I swear I didn't plan that. Let's go ahead and scan some animals. Really? We're going to go ahead and scan the animals. You'll see there's 11 of them on the planet. Um, you know me in regards to scanning animals. Because I know that if you can scan all of them, you will get a lot, a great many nanites. It's going to help us for certain things. You know, the achievement is the first thing that we'll get because of it. Um, get that guy lined up. Okay. So we'll get that, you know, the, 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 the like I said, the one achievement, we'll get that. That's great. Uh, the milestone. Um, it's not really for the milestone I'm getting that for. It is for the nanites, and you're going to need a lot of them. Because what they did is they nerfed the costs on things in regards to how much it costs with nanites to purchase upgrades and stuff like that. And some you can't even get. Some you can't even get. You can't even get certain ones at all. Now we're going to use our ship to gather up some items as well when we get there and get it repaired, but... Oof. I saw the oxygen thing and it, it's exactly its purpose, right? It did, it did its job. But we got a little oxygen out of it, so we're gonna need a good amount of oxygen. We're obviously gonna need other things. Uh, let's see, can I find a cave nearby? It looks like there's one over there. We'll get the dihydrogen in a little bit. Is that a cave? Or just a hole. It is a cave. There we go. Uh, let's get a little bit. Of Cobalt, because we're going to need batteries. Can we uh, analyze them? Yeah. Yeah, we can, huh? Eh, we're not going to get anything for that, but. Bottom one, if we could find a lower one. I think I took out the only one, didn't I? Let's go a little deeper. I don't know how deep this cave goes. Doesn't look like it goes very far. Alright. So yeah, let's get a little bit of this cobalt. We're going to get some ferrite dust. We're going to make a bunch of batteries. Uh, let's see. I thought there was one over there. There is one over there. Okay. Uh, is there one over here? There's one up here, I think. Yeah, there it is. Uh, oh, uh, we got some lower ones. What kind of elements do they give? Dihydrogen, as expected. Uh, we got plenty of carbon at the moment. Uh, we don't want any cave marrows, no. That's definitely not one of them. Alright, I think we've got all that we can find in here for now without digging through. Let's take a look at the multi-tools, see if there's anything that needs to be fixed. You need to be fixed. Carbon nanotubes, dihydrogen jelly. Alright, let's go get some dihydrogen. Looks like we're completely charged up. Nope. Oh, yeah, okay, there it is. And honestly, I'm not even sure where the ship is. I, I can see it. Oh, actually, straight ahead of me. Go figure. <laughs> Now, gather this up while the sentinels are not present. Oh, good, we got a... That's good. Got a couple of the... Uh, I started to say that. Is 
started to say that. We've got a couple of the gemstones, the rocks that go with it, so we'll be able to get a little extra dihydrogen out of that. We're going to need a good amount of that, too, like I said before. Okay. I think that's all the dihydrogen I saw. Another crystal fragment. Good. I just want extra carbon, all the carbon I can get right now. Now remember, with ter permadeath style mode, you're going to be limited in your cargo space. you got to be careful of that. Let's see how much we got. 156, not bad. We do need some ferrite dust so we can get some more batteries. And you see, you get these memory fragments. So this is going to be thermal protection, high, pro high temperature. I'm going to keep that, even though I can get 140 nanites for it, because it will help me down the road a ways. I do know we have to go to some hot planets. And look at that. Lots of carbon. We're in good shape there. Get rid of the save point. You don't need it. But this you're going to need temporarily. Uh, I'm going to move you down here. Move you over here. Okay. And that's going down. Yeah. I got the wheel there, honey. I can drive. Ah, I wish I could find it. Oh, good. We have a cave over here right by my ship. Let's just jump in real fast. Oh, stay away from those guys. All right, let's get some oxygen. Nice. Good deal. Don't get much out of them. You know, eight, seven or eight usually, and that's about it. All right. And a little more cobalt while we're here. Ah, that should be good. Who's this? He's just going crazy. We could use some sodium. Pick it up some, some, of, the, some of the flowers, of course, as usual. But Now, again, everybody in the house is asleep right now, but I expect that people will be waking up very soon. Okay. Nope. Lo and behold, I hear... I hear footsteps. Hope it's not somebody to just broke into my house. Of course, if they do, I'm going to have to pause for a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and help them, uh, you know, pick everything up. I'll help them carry it out. I mean, that's why we have insurance, right? I'm sure the insurance company hates me saying that out loud, but hey, you know, whatever. We obviously want to get this condensed carbon. This is handy stuff to have. All right, good deal. And we have yet to gather enough ferrite dust to... Uh, I don't know, repair a jetpack at this point. Oh, too soon? Okay. Yeah, you'd have to listen closely. I've got those jokes coming every now and then. Oh, what do you know? Trade terminal. How fascinating. Let's get some stuff while we're here. A little bit of extra nanites. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and make ourselves... I think I need two of those, but let me just double check. Uh, we'll need two of those, too, because we've got to repair the ship. And uh, let's see, multi-tool. Is it two? Nope, it was just one each. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Let's go to the starship. We needed a metal plate and pure ferrite. That was the other thing we needed. We do need... No, oh, that's right. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and get in the ship real quick. And we're going to go ahead and get our... Hey, come on now. I shouldn't be having to do this. Alright. Moving on. Collect the rewards. Because our rewards give us certain things. Not just memory fragments. Uh, life support, iron bat ion batteries, starship fuel, another some more memory fragments, which will the memory fragments are kind of a unique thing here because they give you things you need. See I got the hermetic seal plants here. Good. And base computer as well. Excellent. Alright, so now we can get the base going as well. So 
since we have the room to do so, let's make our hermetic seal. And we're going to put that over here. We don't still don't have enough uh, stuff to repair anything else right now. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. We got it. We got it. Jeez. So, see, this is a upgrade, which is a scatter blaster. Great. So keep in mind, it's going to get loud. So that's our weapon that we're going to use. And then, what do we got here? This is for our life support. So it's giving you certain things. These memory upgrades, um, what do they call them? Memory fragments are going to give you upgrades to everything. Uh, let's see, we got a force field. This is going to be personal. All right. I... Trying to decide whether I want to put it in or not. The force field never helps me at all, and I never use it anyway. Why don't we... What's the value of the unit? 489 nuts. I'm going to go ahead and hang, hang on to it. Okay, three upgrades for a casino. That is handy. Go ahead and put that in. Uh, swimming underwater. I'm going to hang on to that and sell it as well. And this was for the hot planet thermal protection. Didn't we already have that? Yeah, we did. Okay, so we could sell that too. One is enough. We don't need more. And this will give us a couple hundred, right? 140? That's fine. All right, so we'll get some nanites out of all that. Uh, we're going to keep these. All right, let's get ourselves stuff. Now, of course, we don't have any money. 10,000, that's just some scanning creatures. I don't think we can buy anything from here. I don't think we'll have enough cash for it. Uh, let's see. Hey, go figure. There's our metal plate. Ooh, chromatic metal. I'll get that. That's 40, so that gives us enough to make a base computer on the planet that designated anyway. Uh, let's see. I don't think we need anything else from there. We do need some pure ferrite, so let's get... Ah, switch over before it ch changes. You know what? Let's scan that, make sure we're not going to get something from it. Dihydrogen, yeah, I kind of ex expected that, to be honest. Dead animal? Yep, kind of in the way. Alright, so we should have plenty of dihydrogen, right? No, we don't. Let's get more. It'll scare him and make them move off. All right. Like I said, you're going to need a lot of this stuff, so you might as well just grab as much of it as you can for now. Okay. Yeah, we're up to 200 now. Why? Because it would give us life support shells, which we got over here. There they are. We got to put them back over here. We can make pure ferrite now. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's get closer to the ship. Ah, uh, there we go. We just need 50 of it, so... Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Want to be as cautious as possible now when we take off with the ship we'll get more ferrite uh so do we have anything everything we need to repair this yet we got the metal plate there's that and that's the only other thing we need okay and we're done we just pick up the whole thing and we'll get everything out of it see there's our pure ferrite and the extra ferrite dust and this will allow us to get the next stage should get the achievement Achievement? Was there an achievement for that? No. Okay, no achievement for that. Right, 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 right. So we got to go to the anomaly. Break the loop. Reach our first anchor point. Okay. So the one thing we didn't get, we didn't get... We don't have our hyperdrive, as you might see. So we have this. So I always take these and I put them into the one upgraded slot to give me a little bit more supercharged power because you're going to need it. Try to make sure you save your repair kits because, again, in permadeath, you can be taken out pretty quick. The shields on these things have never been very great. 180 is not very powerful on these ships. 
you know, Starship launch fuel, uranium. The soonest you can get uranium, the better. Is there uranium, uranium on this planet? Look at the right-hand side. Copper, fecium, podium. Nope. So we're not going to worry about that. I could use sodium. If we had any very close by. I do want to gather up our buried technologies. If we can. And I want to get make sure I can get to these creatures as well. I know my toxic protection is falling, guys. You don't have to sit there and remind me. Because you're yelling at a screen that nobody can hear. Okay. Let's recharge for a second. I've got batteries, but I'm going to recharge it here for a second so we can go over what we need to do. Let's rearrange our exosuit. Everything seems to be in place here. I'm going to move you over. I'm going to put you up here. Uh, let's see. And it's charging up, as you can see, very nicely. Uh have to make a base computer. We're going to put you back up here. We're going to keep our carbons together. Man, it's pain in the neck to have so little space in these things at this point. We can make one more battery for now. We'll make more batteries. We're going to use up that, that cobalt for batteries. Um, there's a lot of different minerals and resources you're going to need that you're going to have to hang on to, so keep that in mind. Now, we're about... 25 minutes in. I'm probably going to go about another half hour. Um, in the past, I've said, hey, we're going to complete phase one. We're going to complete phase two. No. As you can see, your phases are going to be complete out of order uh, with the milestones in each phase. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to go for one hour. We're going to make it a one hour run. We're going to pause. We'll come back again on a, on a second hour and we'll see how quickly we can get this done. All right. We're fully charged. Let's go ahead and get. Just make sure there's no new animals around. I haven't scanned. Because I do want to try to find all the animals. There's one. I'm glad he remembers faces. How many animals is that? Seven out of eleven. And you check your discoveries real quick, and you can be able to at least tell where the others are. Underwater, 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 underwater. So we got four more underwater. So we can land either water. And that'll be a good thing. Let's go for a little ride. And we'll gather up some other stuff in a little bit here. Interesting. We got a save beacon over here. And that's usually pretty important. Happy holidays, free stuff. That's funny. And a mold farm. Eh, well, we don't have that kind of thing. So, 15 minutes away. I don't know if I'll do that. You know, I hate the first person view. So, I'm going to go ahead and lock that in. But I do like it for one purpose. Yeah, we want ferrite dust. Great, I got ten. Well, that's uh, productive, isn't it? And don't fire those missiles too close. I did that in my last game, and oh my gosh, it damaged my solar sails, and I could not fix them at all. Is that... That's worth stopping for. Let's get up to the top of the hill, and we'll stop. our launch thrusters look at 32 we'll be able to take off one more time and looks like our uh, sentinels are active uh, where did that go there it is I know it's pretty far away but those are very handy as you might know in playing the game yourselves as long as we can gather them without alerting the sentinels I'm not really interested in the upgrades themselves. Uh, we need a bunch of stuff. They may investigate. Should be the last one. Good. All right. Good, 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 good. What do we end up with? 14 navigation data. We got two of these, which are worth 170,000. That's why I wanted them. We have one more spot open in our inventory. Grab the oxygen while we're here. 
Uh, let's see. That should do it. Okay, good. So that gives a good start right there. Very nice start for that. Now we do have some launch fuel. We have one more piece of launch fuel that we can use. We can always create a, a new one if we need to. But I was hoping... Yeah, yeah, we're not going to use it. We'll just stop. On and on and on. Worse than my mother, I swear. Oh, yeah, just keep popping out of the ground like that, buddy. Like daisies. All right. Oh, one high dihydrogen, that's nice. 14 ferrite dust, and now oh, that's just ridiculous. Okay. Now, it is on an auto recharge, so the thruster can charge over time. So you see that we've got a big storm that has just come in, and I don't see any storm crystals, so we're not going to worry about that. Slow it down, slow it down. Ooh, that's a good spot. All right, that's carbon and dihydrogen. That's nice. Hoping to get some rocks out of this. Only 20, huh? Really thought I might get better rocks out of it. Sure, I'm getting a lot of carbon though. We'll keep most of it in our other inventory. So, you know, if you're in a speed run, this is probably not your best use of time. But, you know, really getting. Um, some ferrite is really important here. We're probably going to just have to purchase it from the space station or something like that. Oh, we've got some water up ahead. We might be able to find... Oh, it's a big enough lake. I might be able to find enough creatures here. All right, let's land out in the middle. Looks like they have like a little island out there. We'll land there. I know. I know there's not enough launch fuel. We're not going far. And good. The storm's clear. Get some extra sodium while we're here. Uh, we do have some dihydrogen crystals. Let's go ahead and gather them up. We'll look for more animals. We have no animals on the ground, so it's all going to be underwater at this point. Okay. Investigating. Me, me, me. Okay, Mom. Sorry. Oh, that's going to hurt. Okay. All right. Take a look. We don't need living pearls, and there is an actual structure down there? How interesting. One. Well, that's the rare guy. Let's go ahead and get him. Two. Three. We just need one more. And there they are. How lucky did we get? And that's all of them. Let's get up to the surface. Let's get some air. And let's get to our discovery screen. And we get 2,750 nanites. That's a good chunk of change to start out with, I think. There's our achievement. Cluster hoard. Great. I just became a hoarder. Fabulous. Uh, let's go to the expedition. And you'll notice here's our new reward. Let's go ahead and grab it. Our inventory's full. I can't grab it. Alright, what's in my inventory, by the way? Oh, good. Let's use this up real quick. Actually, let's recharge it all the way. We don't have a lot of condensed carbon. I'm going to use it all up for now. We'll get more later. No problem there. Mm. Okay. That gets us at least one spot available. And I don't think we need anything else up here, but I'm so curious about that. You know I'm going to take a look. I'm not a cat, so it shouldn't kill me.
Pardon me. So... We got batteries. We got life support gel. I just want to see what's down there. It could be a crash building, it could be a crash ship. If it's a crash ship and we can repair it. Get to the surface and get our... Okay, there we go. Battery. You want to use it early, or it's going to charge you two batteries to do it. Let's go ahead and do our life support too while we're at it. Okay. And let's take a look. This looks like... It's a ship. Well, I'll be. I'm going to get rid of that. Got another battery. Okay, let's get in this chamber here. I think we get in from the other side. Yes, we do. All right, then we'll go ahead and get these oxygen levels back up. And check our inventory real quick. Too bad we can't put it in our ship. But you know what we can do? Can we put our refiner down anywhere? We can. Awesome. That's really strange. We need... 40, I think. Condensed carbon. Let me check that thought real quick, because we don't have a lot of room. 30. Okay, so we want to be efficiently using this. Because we're going to have to repair that ship, and if I can fly that ship to the space station and sell it... See what I mean? Not to mention I don't have enough, enough launch fuel on my other ship, so... It's a win-win. Problem is I'll have to empty out most of my inventory to do it. Okay, I got an idea. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Do we have enough ferrite dust? Oh, let's find some ferrite. Um, really? I can't scan anything while I'm in here? Well, that stinks. Should be some rocks down here. That thing has carbon? That's cool. What does this one have? Salt. We don't need salt. Look, 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 look. More salt. Of course, the one time I need some ferrite, you know? And I didn't grab it from that thing because I didn't think we would need it. Critical, huh? Yep. Whew, that was close. I don't see any rocks. Okay, so I think what we're going to do... I'm going to go back up to the surface. I'm going to put as much stuff into my... We're going to leave this here. Um, we'll come back. We'll come back. So why don't I do this? I'm going to go up to the surface and I'm going to drop some stuff off in my ship. And... If I can survive this anyway... And I'm going to come back here in just a couple moments. Okay, we survived. You're good to go. Hang on just a second, I'll be right back. And we're back. So I've got everything ready to go, and we're going to go ahead and get this ship. I'm going to go ahead and acquire it. So it's only C-Class, so we're not going to get a lot of money for this. And I'm going to claim it. Before I go in there, terrain manipulator's on. I'm going to go ahead and collect this. There we go. All it is is extra money. Okay. Let's go ahead and fix it. So we have everything we need to fix it. And this will empty out some more of my inventory and my exosuit. And it can now be... Now I can take off. And I'm not going to repair the shield. That could be dangerous, depending upon if anybody attacks us. But yeah. And I'm going to put this in the... 
Good. Okay, it's gone. I ended up with a little extra carbon at this point. So I'm not too, too worried about it. One, two, three, four. There'll be a fifth one, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll give me enough slots available. So I, when I sell the ship, I'll get whatever they get out of it. So this will give me a good chunk of change to start with. So let's go ahead and get going. And this will allow me to, like I said, get some things done. Where's our, there it is. Now, this thing has nothing in its inventory, I think, and nothing I can get rid of. Let me just check. No. Okay, good. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So we're going to go to the space station, which is 45 seconds away. Excellent. Hopefully we won't get attacked on the way, which we shouldn't. There we go. And we'll get the usual starter music as soon as we land there. Not just the music you're hearing right now, so. And how far in are we here? 40 minutes, okay. So this will give us a good chunk of change to start with, like I said. We don't have any much money units as the case may be right now. But we've actually, this is a pretty good start. With the exception of having to try to die at the beginning and having to go through that nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Boink. There we go. Uh, I think we're safe now. Unless I don't run into anything. You know how good my flying is. There we go. And let the starting music play. Nice and loud, right? It'd be great if they changed up the music every now and then. And there we go. So, while we're here, we should have enough money to get this upgrade. I think the first one is free. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it there. That'll be a good start. We don't have anything to sell just yet. In my... As far as nanites are concerned. So there should be enough inventory space to sell the ship. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, wow. It's worth a pretty good amount. 1.1 mil. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's see if we ended up with any upgrades. Uh, pulse engine and a starship shield. Which we will definitely use both. We're going to sell this stuff to Pilot. And we'll see if he has anything there we can use. Um, that was a really strange voice. Uh, salvage data, get rid of it. It's no use in keeping it. Trust me when I tell you there's no use in keeping that. Go ahead and get rid of it. Subatomic regulators, there's our million. So we have nothing else left to sell in our inventory. We're going to need wiring looms. You're going to need those. So... I don't want to grab a whole whole bunch. Let's get like five for now. You'll get some through some of the uh, milestone achievements. So I don't think we're going to need a solar mirror this time around. Tritium, that or pyrite, whichever one you can get, go ahead and get it. Magnetized ferrite, you might need some, but you're going to get some along the way. I'm not going to worry about buying some right now. Uh, that should be it for now. Yep, and there's the other achievement. And this guy over there. Let me go ahead and hit him up and see what he's got, because I think they have other stuff. And I'm telling you, if you can find uranium, grab it. I haven't found any at the very beginning myself. More tritium. Let's go ahead and grab it. You're going to need that. You're going to go through it like water. And set this guy up. I don't see any other ships coming in just now. Uh, let's see what he's got. Looks like they all have the same thing in their inventory. Okay, that should be enough. Another fighter. We'll hit him in a minute. It's a starship. 
got a good amount of tritium. I'm going to put this in my starship. I'm going to go ahead and install this in my starship. And I'm going to go ahead and install that in my starship. So that'll at least help me out a little bit. My shield strength is not quite 200 yet. Anything else in here? No. A couple fighters landing. Let's see if they have some changed up inventory because they should have different inventory than the rest, but I haven't seen that yet. Same thing. I think we have enough tritium for now. I'm not going to worry about getting more. Also, spend all my money on it. See if he has the exact same thing. Oh, it's so creepy. All right, we'll have to check the inventory up there. And we'll get our achievements as well. Our rewards for milestones achieved here in just a minute. Uh, phosphorus. Always very handy. I'm going to get some of that. It doesn't sound like it's a good thing to get, but trust me, you're going to need it. There's certain things that require it. I don't remember what off the top of my head, but I'll put that in that inventory. Probably going to keep it in our main inventory sooner or later in here. But let's go ahead and get our achievements while we're here. So there's our cluster hoard. Uh, 10 wiring looms, 250 silver, and 500 pugnium. Save it. You need the silver. You'll need the pugnium. Do not sell that. By all means, put it in that inventory. It's not something you're going to use in wandering around. So I guess we should do that too while we're at it. Put that in the main inventory. See, we've got a thousand carbon. We're in good shape there. Not a lot of sodium. Dihydrogen. We'll keep that here. We'll take the phosphorus back. Put you down here as things that are necessary to keep. Let's put you back over into my inventory. Cobalt. Let me put it in my main inventory for now. Oxygen, definitely. Okay, we're going to keep this aside as stuff we're going to hang on to. we got to sell that, so we'll just put it over there. No, I'm going to put it over here. For the ship, we'll put it there. Okay. I think it wants us to install that technology. Let's get rid of that. We're going to need to install it sooner or later. You know what? How much does it cost to install it? One animator, huh? And three wiring looms? Let's go ahead and do it. We don't have a lot of room, but I think we should be able to produce an animator. What do we need? Condensed carbon. Okay. We'll have to get some more. But we'll put that in later. Because it is handy to be able to put stuff in your inventory when you're further away. All right. What do we got? Ooh, different guy. He's not an explorer, so let's see if he's... Or a fighter, so let's see if he's got anything different in his inventory. You always spend a little more time here. Hydraulic wiring, yeah, that could come in handy later on, but I'm not going to worry about that. Copper. Hmm. We do need chromatic metal. How much does it cost? 16? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab it. Another hauler. Uh, he'll have the same inventory. Same thing with him. I'm not worried about them. If there's a different ship that pops up, I'll go out and grab it. But let's go ahead and sell these things off real fast. So why don't we buy anything? I don't know if you noticed it before when I was in here, but let's take a quick peek, shall we? Look at those prices. A C-class is costing $780. You want an S-class, 6000 nanites. Like I said, they nerfed this bad for this particular expedition. When you go back to normal mode, it'll revert back to a better state. But for now, yeah, that's the way it's going to cost you. Now, I can get a movement module if I had just enough. And I would really love to get an A-class one, but I can't afford it right now. Let's sell, sell the stuff I've got. And we might have enough to get it. I think we are there. 3790. Let's go ahead and do it. Because I know it's a lot, but and we will need more nanites later. But we will get more nanites later. Uh, shouldn't it be in this inventory? Oh, I was in my ship inventory at the time. And that gives us what? All right, that's really nice. That'll get us sprint distance and every time and jetpack. Good, 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 good. All right, we got in good shape there. Uh, let's sell off some stuff and check out the inventory over here time. Okay. I'm going to try as close as possible to keep this to an hour, folks. Alright.
right, let's see. Oh, I've got chromatic metal. Go figure. I guess I didn't have to get all that anyway. It's good to have it. I got some pyrite in here, and that's good for an alternative source of refueling a ship. I'm gonna grab it too. Uh, don't. Well, we could use gold later on, but I think we'll get some, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Don't need any of those. And we do have a couple things we could sell. I forgot about that. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Back over a million. Excellent. Okay. So what do we got? Pretty full inventory. That's what we got. We're going to put this back over there. We're going to put this over there. And this over there. Keep these, obviously, to call my ship. Got oxygen. This is good for charging stuff. This we're going to create more batteries with when we get more some more ferrite. Put my oxygen over here. Okay, that leaves us with a whopping four spaces. Now, do we have any more rewards that we can grab? I don't know. Check in a second here. Uh, new reward. What was that one? Taking it with you. Oh, good. So we got our component blueprints. That's excellent. So we don't have to worry about grabbing those on the way. Very nice. Oh, we got memory. Memory fragments. Let's see what we got. Exocraft. We can sell those. You're never actually going to use them. I remember, I seem to recall in the first one, first run through, that we actually did have to create our exosuit. And for some reason, we never did it in this one, and I don't know why. I never actually pulled it out or did anything with it. Kept it all the way to the end. So let's sell that and that. Good deal. 600 nanites. Don't think there's anything I can buy for 600 nanites now. Yeah, we could have got a scanner module. That would have been nice. But for 6,000, don't think so. Okay. I think we're done here. Okay. Alright, so... Inventory's been readjusted. Let's go back to number one. We have to glimpse the loot. Let's go to the anomaly and complete this particular run-through on this hour. There he is. Pulling the anomaly. It's a pretty nice looking ship. I'm always partial to the half moon shaped solar sails, but if you're going to go with the funky ones like that, I like them better. That's my, probably my second best one. The square ones, just they don't do anything for me. Look like somebody just forgot to decorate. I don't know. Oh, yeah, let's put us the furthest place away. see how the running works. Now, going to Ares here is useless. He will just tell you he's too busy to talk right now, and you can come back later. So, no use in doing that. And I'll show you a couple other things here. So, let's talk to Polo. Polo's gonna give us some stuff. Back so soon, friend. You are like our little home. You are like... You are like our little home. Coming and going. Oh, got it. Coming and going and coming. You are here to talk about the loop again, yes? Ask about the loop. Yes. It is so different from before, Traveler Friend. Is it so different from before, Traveler Friend? Perhaps you will get used to it. Other dear friends have adjusted, after all. You have had enough, I think. You are not alone all the time in the world, but this is no way to spend it. So he's talking about going back and forth and recreating and recreating and re-looping and re-looping. But do not worry, friend. There has been much, much, there has been much time to think about this. We have a plan, you and I. It's like Groundhog Day. Hello, Smiles. Their beak clicking gently. The room swims around me. The air ripe, ripe with the scent of chimes and whistles. I see it. I remember. The universe is full of wonder, wonderful anomalies. There will be a pattern in the loop, a signal in the deep matter. We will look, just look closely. Wonderful anomalies. I like those words. That's nice. You already know what we require, I think. So we have to deliver material. Either 250 liquid sun, 200 ancestral memories, mem 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 memories, or deliver material in the form of 100 somnol dust. Now, obviously you're like, where in the heck can I get that? Well, the first thing you're going to be able to get is liquid sun. You do need ancestral memories. You're going to need more later. About, I think about 100 of them. And you will need somnol dust as well. Do the same. You have to create something that requires all three of these. So you want to keep some in your inventory. But to get this, it'll be pretty quick. You'll be back. You always are, traveler friend. Smart. So you're going to get the achievement of observing the cycle. And what do you get as a prize? Let's take a look. 
we get solar ray plans. And you get sodium. Why? Because that's how you charge your solar ray. And there you go. And it requires cobalt. And there you are, mag mag magnetized ferrite. Which we can do on our own. Okay, no big deal. We need a whole lot of ferrite later on, like we said. So we're going to go over here. We're going to put our solar ray here. We're going to go ahead and add the cobalt to it. And we'll need the magnetized ferrite later. We'll get it later. So while we're here, trip down memory lane. we got a couple more minutes left. I want to show you why you want to hoard as much as you can. First things first, if you go to the Starship Reshipper, any research people, look at the charges. First of all, these are all blocked out. They tell you the blueprint memory is lost. You can't even buy any of these things. So you're stuck with the weapons you get. You can't buy the hyperdrive. You'll be given it later. And look at the charges for these things. 2400 1200 Very expensive. I suggest you go ahead and get a conflict scanner when you can afford it. Because that's the one thing you'll need. Getting the hyperdrives and stuff like that, you don't have to go to those planets. But if you have to do serious repairs on your ship and they require like emerald and cadmium, yeah, you're going to want to save up. Nothing else to get there. While you're here, get your exosuit upgrade. I'm going to continue putting it in here because we need it. Oh, I forgot about those achievements. Let's go ahead and do that real fast. Oh, this is going to upgrade our... Good. Let's get that. You get five of them, I think. Yep, that's good. We can take a quick look at it just to see. No, no supercharged slots yet. Okay. And this one upgrades our multi-tool again. And it's random. You could get a multi-tool, you could get ship, or you could get exosuit upgrades. Alright, did we get anything out of that? Let's find out if we get any supercharged slots. No. That means they're gonna one of them's gonna appear in these three, which hopefully we'll get one more upgrade for it. Alright, so no use in getting those. And the other thing is is when you come over here, twenty five hundred just to get a star shield star shield battery in order to be able to create those. And these get more expensive as you go down. So stick with what you've got, okay? I will probably buy this later on because I don't want my ship getting too damaged. You don't want to go there. You lose your ship, you lose your life, you start all over again. And you see what the charges of these things are? This is why I said just don't bother. If I want to get a medium refinery, it's costing me 100 salvage data. That used to be 10. 100 salvage data. It's ridiculous amounts, so don't bother saving the salvage data. It's no use. Just try to stay salient. And then finally, I'll show you this last thing regarding Ares and them. Watch what happens. Life firm gestures apologetically. Perhaps I should return another day. And that's all you get. You can't get any extra nanites from him. My guess is I, th I think they had trouble adjusting the nanites in the game, the charges for everything, so I think his went up exponentially as well. So it would... It would cost you three or four thousand nanites to get something so but anyway all right so we are done here i'm going to end the episode here we're gonna bring you back when we have our uh ability to get some liquid sun and we'll continue from there and thank you uh, again for watching we really appreciate your uh, patronage feel free to please hit that like button and if you've, you're a first time viewer I hope you enjoyed this. I tend to have a very calm, soothing voice. So, you know, if you just want to listen to a nice, uh, nice calm voice and a, and, a, and a decent run through of these missions. Again, I've been playing for over three years and uh, really have enjoyed this game and all the exploration that's involved in it. Uh, really cool game to play. But please feel free to hit that subscribe button. You know, that's the uh, that's the way of things. We really appreciate it. Uh, you're, you're liking that video and everything like that. So, again, thank you very much. As I always say at the end. Uh, never criticize kindness. It's always room to be kind to others. And be truthful in all things that you do, especially to yourself. Thank you very much for watching.